wife could now leave me alone. Well, that sounds horrible. But uh, she's, she, took a, uh, she took a trip with the kids down to, uh, down to Oregon and left me with Cooper, and she had complete confidence that he would let me know that if my blood sugar was going low. I don't have been any place without taking it with me because it just makes me feel really secure that uh, my sugar, if it gets off, she's going to be right there to help me. Uh, I've been having problems with my diabetes uh, lately. Just I've been diabetic for 40 years, and um, I've got a CGM, but it wasn't catching my blood sugar if it would drop slowly. And uh, being seen by the fire department six times in a year, both at work and in my at when driving, that uh, let me know that I needed to try something different with my diabetes management. Because I've had diabetes for about 15 years, and my sugars go way high and way low really fast. I'm what you call a brittle diabetic, so consequently a dog that would alert me, I thought it would be a wonderful idea to have. Cooper right now is seven months old. He's alerted me at least 25, 30 times while driving, at work, and yeah, since I've gotten him, I've not had a an incident where I've needed where the paramedics have, have come to, to rescue me and that's been five months now and before the record uh, in, in the previous year was about two months. When, when my wife and I first came in here looking for a service dog, we were actually looking for a, a fully trained service dog and we were asking Mary to help us with, with locating one. And when she told us that we would need to continue the training anyways, um, both the financial side and the common sense side of me said, you know what, if we're going to be doing training anyways, why not do the training from the get-go? And then that way, first off, we can save a lot of money. Secondly, we get the knowledge and get the, the understanding of how to train a dog. So why not just start out with the Service Dog Academy with your own dog and and get the training and get a dog, a service dog, at a whole deal for one low price. When I researched Mary McKnight, who's in charge of the, the service up here, her ratings were outstanding. She really has a great rating. I talked to some other people, and they all said she is fantastic. And so that's why I came up here. After about two weeks, he was alerting to me. Four weeks, approximately. About four weeks before I started getting alerts. The price is outstanding. It's, and not only that, um, it's the value for the money that you're getting. The price of the program is a bargain, I think. I think the, the price you can pay Seventeen to twenty thousand dollars for a trained dog, and, and when you get done, you don't have a clue as to what the dog should do, how to keep training the dog, how to keep working with the dog. So the, the price is—it's a real bargain. You get a lot more than than just a dog. You also get the 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 way that you the way the, the training techniques. We have turnstiles at work. I just I use the, the the training techniques there, so I it's like it's almost like a freebie. You know, I don't have to have someone teach me how to. Okay, this is how you take take it through a turnstile. You've got the techniques, and you've got the uh, and you've got the, the training on how to do it. And um, now he loves going through turnstiles. I had to do pretty much a 180 from training. You know, you see TV programs on the Animal Planet, and you, you know, you think that, that this guy's this guy must be good because he's got a TV show. You train him by using positive techniques. So, um, he wants to get food. He does what you say. And you're sticking with the program, coming to the classes, making a full commitment is going to make it successful for the person. Otherwise, you're just going to be marking time. Again, it goes back to value for the money. It, it is a good value for the money. And even at 10 times the price, it would be a value, a good deal. A 
I've had actually two instances where my blood sugar was um, what everybody would determine as high. It was 155, and it was it was at work. And uh, one of my coworkers said, "Hey, well, your, your your dog's drooling." And I said, "Whoa, okay, I better better check it." And there was another guy that I used to work with there, and um, he had seen me. He'd seen my blood sugar go low, and he says, "You know, he thought my blood sugar was fine." And um, tested my blood sugar. It was 155. I said, hmm, that, that seems kind of odd. Then um, I said, well, you know, he's, he's been right all these times, so let's just, uh, what I'll do is I'll test it again in half an hour. I tested it again about half an hour later, and my blood sugar was 80. So he caught it be high before it went low. And that's, that is amazing. This morning I got up and uh, I'm walking around. I was gonna lay back down in bed and she, uh, uh, it had poked me a couple times, so I went over by the bed and she poked me a couple more times. Then she scratched me and pushed me out to make sure I wouldn't get back in the bed. She wouldn't let me back in. So I had to go back to my office, walk to my office, sit down, take out the meter. When I took out the meter, she stopped scratching and poking and, and shoving and, and sat there. I checked my sugar and it was uh, 62. Wow. And I've never known that had the, unless she did that for me. It's taken a lot of stress off my life and it's also taken a lot of stress off my, my family life too. And that's, that's worth it. It's changed my life in the respect that I check my sugar a lot more now than I did before. I thought, well, I'm at this, I'm such and such, but your sugar can go up and down and you don't necessarily notice that, but she is right on there and she makes an alert, so that makes me go and check it right away. The nice thing is, is it's, it's actually brought my, my wife and I closer together. She loves dogs and I was kind of a, I like dogs, but, but uh, Cooper's really changed that. My wife and I do the training together um, and my, also my kids, we, we help with the training. I mean, we all do it together and they, they love doing it. No, I'm a lot more comfortable by myself because if I get off, she will alert me. And I can send her to go get somebody, too. She will go and get somebody. So, yeah, I, being alone is not a problem like it used to be. Uh, the only thing else I would say would be to highly give this program a chance. Let it work. Let Mary McKnight work with you on the, on the dogs, on the training. And uh, I think you're going to find yourself moving forward and a lot healthier life with diabetics and diabetes and reactions. It could be a lifesaver, actually. It's probably been the best thing that we've that we've done for my diabetes.